Hello everyone and welcome to my late 2021 network tour. Uh, this is, I believe, the third or fourth video in this series. Um, as you can see, we've evolved a lot here. There's actually a name for it now, the Mobby system. And um, yeah, I guess we'll start up there. I need one of these because I'm short. So you recognize this. This is the router. Or sorry, not the router. This is the modem. It's getting a feed in from this white cable. There's a port for that over there. Managed all the way back there. Excuse all of this. There's construction going on. That's a new bathroom. Um, coming in from over there. Um, not fiber. Want to get fiber eventually. Gonna have to do a lot of convincing for that. But um, yeah, cables working just fine for now. You recognize this. This is a Netgear R7000 flashed with DDWRT. Uh, it's acting as a router and gateway. Uh, does pretty good, although I wouldn't mind upgrading to something from Ubiquity, although those are very expensive and I do not have the money for that at the moment. Coming out of that... Oh, fuck. Turn these lights off. Or at least dim them a little bit. There we go. Not as much glare. Um, out from that we have going to these two switches over here. Uh, call it the senior and the junior switch. One is an 8 port, one is a 5 port. Hence the names. And then this white guy right here is going into the uh, lights out management of um, Melkier. So officially this is Melkier 1, but it's running VMs, which is Melkier 2 and Melkier 3. Um, it's a Lenovo Think Server RD340. It's got uh, two Intel Xeon E5 2420v2 processors and 72 gigabytes of DDR3 ECC memory at, I believe, 2166. I want to say 2166. I'm not sure if that's right. Maybe 2933. Um, it's got two... 3 terabyte uh, WD hard drives. One is a red, one is a blue. I'm going to be adding in another WD red in here come next year. 60 gig SSD in here that stores TrueNAS, but that's based on FreeBSD. Uh, this is running everything from uh, files, like it's a NAS. Um, it's doing that over SMB and Nextcloud. Uh, it's also running Melkier 2 and Melkier 3. Melkier 2 runs all the game servers through AMP, and Melkier 3 runs uh, the Ritzko Discord bot, as well as uh, my website. Uh, this also has two NICs, that's why you see two uh, flashing things here. Apparently there's a problem with one of the power supplies, redundant power supplies as well. There's a, power, there's a problem with one of the power supplies, I should probably get that checked out soon. Uh, but not today. Two NICs. Uh, right now they're running in a redundant um, link aggregation, I believe. Uh, so failover. Um, that's why there's... The, it's these two right back... Oh! <laughs> I just turned off my order. Um, these two white cables back here. Which, fun fact, I made all of these white cables. Got a... Uh, killer deal on that Cat6 cable right there, and we also needed to feed it upstairs into my new office. Had an Ethernet port installed up there for me. Um, yeah, this guy is Balthazar1. This is a Lenovo Think Center something something. I forget <laughs> what exactly, what exact model it is. Um, it's got an i5, I want to say a 4th gen i5, uh, 12 gigs of RAM, and a 500 gig SSD. This is acting as a domain controller, a DNS server, and it also handles um, uh, scanning services for this guy, my printer. It's old. It works. Um, I like it because it is not a... Um, 
one of those like really cheapo inkjet printers that you can get at Walmart for like 30 bucks but then they charge you a hundred or so for the ink <laughs> and um, I also like it because it has this document feeder up here it's also a fax machine but we haven't actually um, used that since we only have the one um, POTS line and that's acting as a home phone we're supposed to get that removed soon but we never did uh, anyway up here we have Casper one this is uh, the same thing as this, except um, it has a 250 gig SSD instead of 500. It's uh, running, oh, I forgot to mention, this is running server 2016, this is running server 2022. Uh, I want to upgrade to 2019 or 2022 on this one eventually, but that's for another time. Um, this, is at, this is deployed with remote app as well as a DNS replica and VPN access. So anytime you, you know, launch up that thing that says Moggy RD to connect to PowerShell or WinSCP, you are going through this guy. Um, as for power, it's kind of jank. We got these um, uh, surge protectors here on either side. They're identical. Um, they're both plugged into the same plug down there, I don't know if you can see. Uh, we stole them from my dad's work because they were liquidating the office. He's working from home permanently now, so they killed the lease on that and we stole these from the office. Uh, they work pretty good. Uh, I wish the ports were a little bit, um, were spaced out a little bit more because you see with these um, elongated power bricks I've actually had to get a three-way splitter and um, uh, connected into that just because it's the, these they're so wide that it doesn't allow you to plug in as many things as you want to which is unfortunate but um, fine I guess a little bit of a fire hazard but these are all low voltage so it's not that big of a deal uh, over here is where all the high what I guess I should say high wattage stuff is plugged in uh, monitors all of these servers up here are plugged into that um, so if I were to accidentally hit that red switch back there, we would be in for a very bad time. Um, I guess going back up to networking, um, these guys up here, this is going to my dad's desk. This is going to, um, I want to say, <gasps> sorry, I had a bit of a brain fart there. This is actually going to that access point that's over there. Um, you might be wondering why it's uh, stationed in such a precarious position uh, facing outside of the window. Um, so we're in the country, right? So one, we don't get the best cell reception, and two, uh, we have a pretty big property. So in the summer, when I go out on the tractor and cut the grass, I use my headphones to listen to a podcast or music or whatever, and most of the time I'm streaming that. And I've noticed when I get over to this section over here, um, it usually starts cutting out because the Wi-Fi uh, would not reach that far out. And so I moved that access point um, from upstairs where there's already just fine reception and um, put it down here. So in the spring, when I go out and uh, start cutting the grass, I will hopefully get to, you know, listen to the WAN show without minus cutting out every two minutes. Um, speaking of access points, uh, this guy is going, uh, this guy's actually a dead cable. It's going up into the vent in my now bedroom that used to be my office. Um, it's just kind of sitting there in the vent, just an open ethernet cable. I haven't, I mean, I guess we could take it out in another day, maybe, but I don't know, I feel like I could put something up there, maybe. Um, this is going to um, my office, my new office upstairs. This is feeding into a wall jack, which is feeding into a switch that I will show you. Um, that's giving a network to my PC and my switch. Uh, this guy is going up to another access point that's just uh, below the stairway over there. For some reason, it always likes to complain that there's no internet, because there's always a purple light on it. Um, but when I go into the management panel, it says the connection is good, and everything is fine with, um, 
actually using it, so that's weird. There is a third access point. It is not hardwired in. It's running as a repeater. That's out in our sunroom. That's giving um, uh, Wi-Fi to the um, fire pit that we have uh, over there, as well as the deck and sunroom area. Um, I guess we have the terminal. This is just a cheapo uh, Dell monitor. I don't know where it came from. But I installed this Lenovo stand on it, so it's like adjustable and whatnot. I quite like it. It's a weird resolution, it's like 1050p. Um, I don't know, but it works. Uh, this is an old Dell, or sorry, this is an old, this is a Logitech G something something G513. Uh, this used to be my main keyboard. I actually modded it. They're, um, I believe kale brown switches, but I lubed them, uh, so they're really nice. I also lubed the stabilizers. Um, this That was kind of my first attempt at keyboard modding before I went and actually just built my own keyboard, so I have this station down here now. I could probably sell it, but eh, maybe another day. Um, cheapo Lenovo mouse. Funny story about these mice. I have so many of them. The exact, almost the exact same models. Like, I'll come down here, right? I have this bin full of just, like, random peripherals and stuff. Like, I have this external hard drive, like, USB 2.0 external hard drive. Look at all of these mice, dude. There's some, one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. I think there's, like, nine or ten of them just in here. And I have this one deployed here. There's one upstairs that my dad is using it as work. Um, there's another one, I think, deployed with my stepmom's laptop. And then I have a uh, Lenovo keyboard and a Microsoft ergonomic keyboard that, like, really sucks. And I don't know why I have it, but it also stole it from dad's work. <laughs> Um, this is a box for a hard drive that I, an external hard drive that I shocked and put in here. Um, and also behind here are, uh, the old editions of my administrator handbook that I made. That's this guy right here. Yeah, I'm Augie, administrator handbook. Um, so another funny story. Whenever I set up, like, a bunch of network shit, I will do it once, I'll do it right, and then I won't do it again for like six months. And whenever something breaks or I need to add something, I always forget what I'm doing or forget like passwords and things for different things that I set up. And so I made a handbook of different things, like you can see all the system rules here, like what everything is running. and. Um, different IP addresses and stuff. I'll cover my own there. Hey, is any Um, like there's, I won't show you the passwords page, but you can see like there's a bunch of, um, I labeled everything in here that's connected to, uh, the power bars and switches up there. Um, so yeah, that's my little sheet for remembering things. Um, as for down here, this is kind of a miscellaneous shelf. In here I have like a bunch of adapters and different tools and things for um, either like networking, like these, this is the stuff I need to uh, like crimp cables, like uh, uh, ethernet cables. I have a Kensington lock for some reason. I have a shit load of Velcro ties that I very clearly need to use. But um, I have the uh, antennas for that guy. I do not use the internal access point on that because it kind of sucks. Close that up. I have some old hardware here. This is... Oh, damn it, I dropped it. This is a... This is an Intel Core 2 Quad that I got out of an old Dell pre-built. And a uh, Pentium, I believe. Yeah, Pentium Dual Core. Wow. They just look cool, so I keep them around. I don't know if they work or not. This will probably work. This is a, uh, a laptop um, wireless card. Uh, I'm pretty sure this thing is dead. 
Kodak splitter. I have a bunch of old RAM sticks. I could probably use these for an art project, but... Um, and I also have a dead hard drive out of my old servers that I keep around. Because it failed, but luckily I was able to take all the data off of it before it failed. Like, it was making a ticking noise. But when I plugged it in uh, with like a SATA to USB thing to my computer, it spun up and it the computer detected the drive. So I don't know if it's actually dead or if it's like about to die. That's why I labeled it sad. It's hasn't died yet, but it wants to. <laughs> um, yeah, this is a bunch of stationary stuff like paper clips, labels. Um, I have a little bit of um, literature here. I have the manual for Corel WordPerfect 7. It's in really, it's in pretty good condition. Uh, I've never actually used WordPerfect, but found this in like a drawer somewhere and keep it around because it looks cool. Uh, same thing for this guy, an authentic Windows 95 manual with an authentic certificate of authenticity. I don't know if I should show this product ID, it doesn't really matter I guess, but it's actually sealed. I don't know if you can see that, but this is uh, a shrink wrap, not a copy of Windows 95, but the Windows 95 manual and certificate, as well as an inbox copy of Norton Antivirus 2007. Just little things I keep around because I'm a nerd. Uh, stationary paper and uh, more cable management stuff that I b very badly need to use. Printer ink. Bunch of cables down here. I should probably go through these and throw out some duplicates, but, you know, they say you can never run out of Ethernet cables. Uh, IDE. Uh, I have an IR blaster down here somewhere. Um, serial. I have a uh, serial to parallel adapter in there, too, that I just found today. And then a garbage bin. You can see I already purged a bunch of different cables as well. Probably need to do some more of that. Um... Yeah, and other than the lights, where did I put the remote? Up here. Other than the lights. There we go. Well, that's about it. Oh, and if you're wondering, this is plugged into Casper up here. That's the uh, Server 2022 machine used as a terminal when I need to do local stuff. It's also hooked up to the VGA port on the back of this thing. I should probably get a KVM, but um, I don't know how much those cost. And I mean, No, I should get a KVM. I mean, I don't use the local stuff that often. I could just use remote desktop and SSH, but it would be kind of nice to have. Anyway, I digress. Um, yeah, that's about it. Thank you for watching.